Will you be able to go on holiday? Prime Minister Boris Johnson has eased some of the lockdown restrictions in England. People in England can now go outside for unlimited exercise and recreation and more people are returning to work. But when will we be able to go on holiday for a break? Can I go on holiday now? Holidays are not permitted under the new guidance. You are free to drive any distance to other destinations in England like parks, beaches, but are not permitted to stay overnight somewhere you do not normally live. This includes the second property you may own. This means you cannot rent or sell catering college or Airbnb property and UK campsites. Hotels and holiday parks will remain shut until at least the 4th of July 2020. Boris Johnson has changed the lockdown rules in England, allowing people to spend more time outdoors. The de developed administrations in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland set their own separate rules for managing the threat of coronavirus, but in each part of the UK the police must enforce them. What powers do police have? Police have wide-ranging powers to help fight coronavirus by enforcing the lockdown. The three key tools they have been given are detaining someone to be tested if they are believed to be infectious, being able to close a wide range of non-essential businesses, restricting someone's right to move around or be part of a gathering, these powers ca came into force without a vote in each part of the UK following orders made by ministers. They could create these regulations so without doubt debate, because their respective parliament or assembly had earlier given them the power to English regulations and here and here. Main Welsh regulations are here and here, Scottish regulations, Northern Irish regulations. How can police enforce the lockdown? It is against the law in every part of the UK to be outside in a place in, out, to be outside the place where you live without reasonable excuse or to be part of a public gathering. If someone refuses to follow the regulation, for instance the request to break up a barbecue and go home, officers can give them an on-the-spot penalty, basically an instant fine, like a parking ticket without the involvement of a court. In England, those pen penalties now start at £100 for a first offence, reduced to £50 if paid promptly, through to a maximum of £3,200, they are lower in the rest of the UK. Police could ultimately charge anyone anywhere in the UK with the offence of breaching coronavirus regulations. That p power would lead to court possible conviction and therefore a criminal record if greater fines. The police cannot, however, enforce social distancing of two metres because this has not been written into the law. The latest instructions to officers from the College of Policing for England and Wales says officers should only enforce the health protection regulations, government guidance is not enforceable, for example, two metre distancing, avoiding public transport or the wearing of face coverings in enclosed spaces. However, still policy may enforce this itself. What is the reasonable excuse to leave home? If you are stopped, police need to know that you have a reasonable excuse to be outside. The law in each part of the UK has n never been clear on what this absolutely means. If you gave examples such as shopping for basic necessities, exercise included with members of the same household, Travelling to and from necessary work. Providing care to someone who is vulnerable. Fleeing harm such as domestic abuse. The law stresses that if you're on your own property, including a yard, garage or alley, which is part of where you live, the police have no power to tell you what to do, unless you're having a gathering that's breaking the lockdown. How are the rules and advice different across the UK? In England, there is, has now been a le big legal change. It is now a reasonable excuse to be outside, for recreation or exercise with one other person who doesn't live with you. So you could meet a friend or relative for a bike ride, walk or visit to a public park or garden, as long as you stay two metres six feet apart at all times without fear of being questioned by the police. This rule has not been changed in other parts of the UK, so the police could still find you in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland or chatting with a friend while feeding the ducks. Mr Johnson also said people would now be allowed to drive to other locations to take more and even unlimited amounts of outdoor exercise. Confusingly, unlimited exercise was never actually banned in England, Scotland or Northern Ireland. Wales did initially ban exercising more than once a day before lifting it, and its police are still being asked to ensure people aren't travelling far from home. Mr Johnson has also said it would be a reasonable excuse to be outside to sunbathe although there has never been a legal ban on sunbathing in any part of the UK. It means the police in England 
will no longer be considering whether to order people to move on if they are snoozing in the sun. However, the Scottish Government maintains that sunbathing could spread the virus and does not consider it a reasonable excuse to be outside, so someone basking on the English side of the River Tweed wouldn't be fined by the police, but someone on the opposite Scottish bank might be. In all parts of the UK, gatherings of more than two people from different households, be they are in public or on private land, remain banned. Can police stop travel from one part of the UK to the other? This is a moot point. The ban on holidays and staying away from home remains in force, but the Prime Minister says you can travel. However, he has no say over how the coronavirus regulation should be enforced by police outside England. If a family from Bristol drives about 70 miles within England for a day's country walking on Exmoor, it is difficult to see how they would now be stopped along the way by Avon and Somerset police. But if the same family drives a similar distance to the Brecon Beacons in Wales, they run the risk of arrest. But if the same family drives a similar distance to the Brecon Beacons in Wales, they run the risk of arrest. This is not hypothetical. South Wales police have already announced that four people from England are to appear in court for travelling to Paraglide off Nash Point in Glamorgan. Anyone who travels into Wales will be suspect to Welsh legislation and Assistant Chief Constable Andy Valentine travelling into Wales for exercise or that a reasonable excuse is not permitted and I appeal for the support of people living in England. What advice have police received? Frontline police may need to w w work very hard to decide whether someone is willfully breaking the rules as a genuine defence or has misunderstood them because of the differences across the UK. Officers across all four parts of the UK have been told by their chief to follow 4ES. Engage with people, ask them why they are out, explain the law when necessary, set out the reason why they need to be inside, stressing the risk to public.